Welcome back. When we left off last time, we had just finished the subfloor for the second floor loft. And so this time we're going to finish up the roof rafters and we'll talk a little bit about some of the wall framing as well. I decided to skip over some of the build video for the second floor walls because the build itself isn't any different than any of the walls I've done anywhere else in the house. Uh, it's just repeating some of the same uh, methods that we use to build the, the rake walls and the exterior walls and finding the right pitch to make sure that the roof is flat uh, across the entire house. And we'll also be looking at this new roof rafter tool I got actually got it some time ago, but uh, I didn't use it the last time. I thought I'd use it this time. It's from EssentialCarpentryTools.com, and I think it's a British company, uh, and it's an interesting little tool. It's nothing terribly special. Uh, here's a closer look at it. You can see that you can spin the knob on the arc section to determine the pitch of the roof, and it's very clearly marked 3.5 12 pitch, 6 12 pitch, so you can mark it uh, any way you want, and it'll automatically set the position for the rafter square. And on the bottom, that knob will determine how far out the bird's mouth will be depending on the size of the top plate that you're using. So in my case, I'm going to be using a 5.5 inch top plate because I'm using two by six exterior walls and so this first cut is going to determine the plumb cut of the rafter and then what i do is i just complete that line because of the break where that bar is and i also run it to the very edge of the board there so that i know where to intersect the line for the bird's mouth so here i can set the width of this bar to be exactly five and a half inches so that if I line it up with my plumb cut it's going to be the same every time. And while this tool can also accommodate hip and valley measurements for the roof, uh, because I have designed this house to have a shed roof for a couple of reasons. One, because I like the look, I like the design of a single slope roof, but also I knew that building a single slope roof is easier than building a roof with a bunch of gables. And so that was also a part of the design consideration. So this particular tool might be more useful for those that are building a more complex roof. In, in my case, it's so simple, I could have easily just used a framing square with uh, steer knobs. And as with all the rafters before, the only two real considerations are which end of the rafter has the plumb cut and which end of the rafter has the tail uh, relative to the bird's mouths. And the measurement between the crook of the two bird's mouths is the critical measurement because if it's too long, you're going to have a gap at the lower end. And if it's too short, you're going to have a gap at the higher end. Uh, I don't want to have a gap any more than about an eighth of an inch uh, in either case. So there's a couple of different ways you can measure it. You can measure it from the crook of the bird's mouth to the crook of the bird's mouth. Um, using this particular tool, I found it just a little bit easier to determine what the measurement was between the edge of the board where I'm creating the plumb cut and what I would call the false plumb cut on this side of the board. And so you can see here that there will be a slight tail on this end because it's at the bottom of the rafter because we're using we're, we're working on the upper section of the roof at this time. Then we just cut out the bird's mouths as we normally do and the plumb cut at the top and we'll be done. Normally I try to do all of the rafters at one time. That's what I've done with all of the sections of the house up to this point. But because I have really limited space up here in the loft with these uh, 14 foot rafters, I am basically just doing them one at a time. So I'm cutting one up and then placing it up and then getting another board and uh, working on them individually rather than uh, cutting them all at once, stacking them and then putting them all up. The nice part about doing the roof rafters in this section, as you can see here, is just the height that I'm working with is much less than in the other section of the house, where at some point I was on 12 or 14 feet of scaffolding to try to get the, the rafters up. There's still you know, a lot of effort in getting all of these 14 foot rafters up to the second floor, but I didn't need the winch like I did for the subfloor sheathing, just you know, take a little bit of time to get one board up at a time. Uh, but then once they're all up here, uh, the effort was just a lot less to be able to get this done. So that was, that was really nice. I've talked a little bit up to now about making some changes to the design, um, slight changes based on how we think we're gonna use the space as we continue to build it. 
This picture window on the right is a great example of that. I think you can see that from up here in the second floor loft, uh, we have a view of the far ridge uh, out there to the right. So this is really prime real estate for this house. And one of the things that we're considering is maybe building a two-story deck um, so that we have a, a small deck outside of the second floor loft for just having coffee, just a you know, small six foot or eight foot extension off of the lower deck below. But we don't know for sure. And so when I built this picture window, what I did was I actually framed it out so that it could accept a sliding glass door. So that if at any time in the future, we actually do decide to take this deck up to the second story, all we have to do is remove the window, or remove those uh, cripples below the window, and we are automatically prepared for uh, just installing a sliding glass door. And as a complement to that, we will also, when I build the deck on the first floor outside of our master bedroom suite, I'll make sure that that deck is built and framed in such a way that it can support the second floor deck, whether or not we actually end up building it. So continuing to make good progress. Thanks for watching. See you next time.